Landscape lighting can make your outdoor environment a magical place. And now, with the use of the new LED lighting fixtures, you can do it more efficiently and with smaller, less expensive transformers and wire. The new LED fixtures use less electricity than the older incandescent and halogen fixtures. In addition, because of the smaller wattages required, you can use much smaller and less expensive landscape wire. Landscape lighting systems that once used 300 watts of power now use as little as 60 watts with the same results. These older systems, because of their wattage requirements, would need a wire sized at a number 10 or number 12 to handle both the load and the length of the cable. This large wire is much more expensive and somewhat harder to make connections to. See our landscape lighting connector video for more details on landscape wire connections. We wanted to know if the LED fixtures would present us with the same voltage loss as any other fixture style, so we conducted our own mini test. It is important to know that there are formulas that apply to voltage drop, but we wanted to see how accurate they are in a real world experiment. More on this later in the video. As you know, the measure of power consumption is wattage, and wattage is not a measure of brightness. For example, a 15 watt LED fixture can often outperform a 50 watt standard incandescent light. And best of all, because of the very long life of LEDs, the LED light source does not have to be replaced like a standard light bulb. In typical operation, the LED will last 5 to 10 years before you have to replace them. Here's the quick test we did just to see how LED fixtures would affect voltage loss on a real installation with a number 14 gauge wire. At the end of this quick video, we will go over with you the voltage loss chart and how to calculate your voltage drop and look at some options. Today we're going to talk about low voltage lighting LED voltage loss. We're going to use a 14 gauge cord. Um, this is a low energy direct burial 12 volt um, cable. Um, it's designed for landscape lighting and it is, like I said, 14 gauge. Now, people are used to using 12 and even 10 gauge, which is larger size wire for their landscape lighting because of voltage loss. And the main reason for this is the old style lighting fixtures require a lot of energy. However, the new LEDs do not. So today we're gonna explore the voltage loss using this wire, 12 volt transformer and LED lighting. We're going to unspool 150 feet of it and then take voltage readings along the wire to find out what our voltage loss is with and without a load on it and how many lamps, how far apart they are, and the distance. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unspool 150 feet of this. I have my tape measure right here next to me and off we go. So 150 feet, we're going to take it all the way across the property here. All right, we have 150 feet out, uh, stretched all the way outside into the yard, and we're gonna cut the wire right here, and we're gonna get it ready to apply to the transformer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our low voltage wires now, and we're gonna strip them back quite a bit, actually, and uh, we make sure we get a really good connection here, and there's one. And we found this stripper at, uh, at Home Depot, and we really like it, we use it for almost everything now. Take the wires, twist them back really, really good. If they're too long, you can always cut them. Take the wire, I'm gonna take my screwdriver, make a little circle here. And I'm gonna bring it down behind this screw, just like so. I'm gonna push it down in here and try to get the best possible connections, kind of pull it tight. And then we're gonna screw it down. And then we're gonna jump to the other one and do exactly the same thing. We got the wires connected to the transformer. Uh, they're nice and tight. We've checked the screws. We want to make sure that these are tight. We don't want any loose wire here. Uh, if the wire is loose and it produces heat, it'll start arcing in here. It'll get worse and it could melt your terminal bus. Make sure that doesn't happen. So, transformer is ready to turn on? No. I went and got the other end of the wire because I wanted to make sure that at the other end of the wire that it's not dead shorted. And that means the copper is not touching. So I'm actually going to take this wire. I'm going to cut just a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to separate these out just a little bit, and we may put a little piece of tape on each one of these, keep them separate at the end of the wire so we know there's no dead short at the end. 
Um, it's pretty important. It's a small detail, um, but it's worth mentioning. Now, a couple of other things I, I want to talk about. This is a 12-volt transformer, 12 volts AC, which is used mostly for landscape lighting. Very, very common. 14-gauge wire, like we mentioned just a few minutes ago. Question is, is this transformer going to put out 12 volts? The answer is, maybe. With transformers, it depends on what voltage you put in. The voltage you put in directly affects the voltage coming out. So we're going to take a voltage meter here, and we're going to find out right now what voltage we're putting in. So I've got the extension cord we're going to plug this test transformer in today. I've got my, uh, my voltage meter set up here, and I'm going to put the probes in, and we're going to find out what the voltage is. All right, today's voltage at this particular time of the day with the air conditioners running in this building, we're at 114.7 volts. Your voltage will change throughout the day. The more load there is on the system, the lower the voltage goes. If you did this measurement maybe in the middle of the night when nobody has anything on, no washing machines, not many air conditioners, uh, no kitchen ovens, you might find that your voltage is 120. So again, voltage into a transformer will definitely affect voltage out. So we're going to find out now what our voltage out of this transformer is. We're going to take the uh, transformer. We're going to plug it in. We're going to flip it over here, make sure it's on. It's always a good thing. Okay. So I know now the transformer is on. I know that we've applied power to it. And now I'm going to take my voltage meter here on the output of the transformer, and we're going to find out what we really have. So we have a baseline to start from. All right, this transformer is now putting out 11.71 volts. Not 12 volts, 11.71. Again, voltage in affects voltage out. So a quick review. We have the transformer. Transformer is plugged in. We know what our voltage is there. We're going to hit this one more time. We're finding the output of the transformer is 11.72. Now, a few minutes ago, we ran 150 feet of wire off this transformer. Here's the wire right here going out. And we brought the other end of the transformer here into the shop, and this is live right now. Um, and curiosity is, what's the voltage 150 feet away from the transformer, following the wire all the way around 150 feet, what is the voltage here? So I'm going to strip this out, and I strongly recommend that, even though you don't really have to, but I strongly recommend that we unplug first, don't cut anything with the power on. We had a customer do that, do that the other day. He shorted out his entire system and blew up all of his LED lights. So I'm going to strip off this wire here. This is the end of the wire, 150 feet away from the transformer. I'm going to plug the transformer back in because I want to find out on a 14-gauge wire, 150 feet away, what kind of voltage do we really have. And we have 11.72 volts at 150 feet away. And you're asking yourself, Wow, that's pretty good. So back at the transformer, exactly the same. So 150 feet of wire, 14 gauge, running across your yard with no light fixtures on it, we're not losing any voltage at all. This is important because as we add light fixtures, we're going to check our voltage, see where we're really at. All right, for the test, we went out on our wire that's just laying out here in the grass, and we went 75 feet out from the transformer, halfway, and we're going to connect this LED 7 watt light right here. And we're going to go back inside and get a voltage reading and see if we have um, much uh, loss. We're going to get that reading both at the transformer and at the end of the wire. Because every time you add a light fixture, you're going to change the parameters and change the voltage on the wire. There it goes. Lights on. You can see even here in daytime that a 7 watt LED is a very bright light source. One thing nice about the Malibu LEDs is the LEDs aren't the white-white, they're actually more balanced and more natural looking and closer to the light output of a halogen bulb. The quick connectors make it very simple and very easy to attach your light fixture to your main power. So let's run back inside real quick and see if we have any voltage loss. As you remember, we put on one LED fixture at 7 watts and now we're going to get our voltage meeting, meter and we're going to see what our voltage loss was. So going back to our standard. Uh, the uh, transformer is still 11.7 volts. Now we're going to go to the end of the wire, which we brought over here onto the table, so we can get a voltage meter out, out there at the very end, at 150 feet. And you can see now the voltage has dropped by adding one light fixture. 
it's now dropped to 11.49 volts. Still very, very acceptable. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add two more light fixtures. And we're going to come back and see what our voltage drop is. And maybe take some voltage readings along the wire and see what they are. So far, very acceptable parameters. This is the new Malibu LED wall wash. And I wanted to show you the box because when you're calculating your load for your landscape lighting system, it's not always real clear on what wattage you really have for your LED product. This one says it's equivalent to a 35 watt halogen wall wash, 35 watts. So the wattage of this fixture is not 35 watts, it's equivalent. Down here it says one light. Here it says one LED wall wash. But we still don't know what the wattage is for calculating and you need to look very closely. This particular box, if you turn it around to the back, it actually says here in very large type that it is a 13 watt power consumed LED light fixture at 415 lumens. This is a bright light. So this is good to know when calculating. This is a question you'll always be asked is what's the total wattage on your landscape lighting plan? So I have unpacked the light fixture and put it together. This is it right here. And this is the LED fixture. And as we noted in one of our other videos, LED fixtures are great because there's no light bulbs to change. These last upwards to 50,000 hours. They're going to last you in your yard a very, very long time, especially these really high-quality, well-made Malibu fixtures. Fixture also comes with a quick connect, and we're going to go out and connect it to our main line right now. We have a 13-watt LED Malibu light fixture, and we're going to connect it here to the main feeder. Just simply take this and push it together, and you'll make contact. And you just push the connector together like so on our 13 watt LED Malibu lights. Now we're going to take a voltage reading out here in the field. Just kind of get an idea of where we're at. Because uh, we're kind of curious to see what voltage loss we have at 50 feet from the transformer. Uh, with a load. Now we only have two lights on so far, but it'll give us an idea. All right. Well, back at the transformer, if you remember, uh, we're at 11, uh, about 11 volts. and. Out here, we're at uh, 10.79, so we've only lost a little bit. We've added two lights. Uh, we're 50 feet away, and you can see we have a little voltage loss, um, but not anything near uh, being, a, being a problem. So what we did is we went out and put a second light fixture on. The second light fixture was 13 watts. You saw the test. Um, our voltage dropped. Um, we're back here at the end of the wire. Here's the beginning of the wire at the transformer. And to refresh your memory, here at the beginning, um, we're at 11.6. Even at the beginning of the transformer, the voltage will drop as you add load to your wire. And at the end of the wire, out there at 150 feet, we've dropped down to 10.83. We're still fine. We've added 20 watts of LED lights to the, uh, to the line, both of them quite large and quite bright. So we're going to add a few more and kind of see where the voltage goes and see how far we can go based on 150 feet of wire. This is our largest and most powerful LED light. This is a 15 watt LED. This is equivalent to a 50 watt standard halogen landscape light. Of course, the great thing is, you're not gonna be out here replacing the light bulb. Again, using the Malibu Quick Connect, we're just gonna take these and push them together. So we've added another light fixture to the line. This is about 100 feet away from our transformer. Our total wire length is 150 feet. And out here in the field, we're going to measure the voltage and see how much loss we have. See if it's in the acceptable realm. Most likely it is. So we're only at uh, 10.8. We're still in the acceptable range. Um, and we're going to go back uh, to our workbench and see what the voltage is at the very end of the line. And then we're going to add a whole number of fixtures and uh, see what kind of line uh, voltage loss we get then. We've added a 15 watt LED uh, landscape lighting fixture outside. Um, we have now a total of 35 watts on our landscape lighting system, which is actually quite a bit for an LED system. It's a lot of bright light. And we're gonna come here to the end of the wire, which is 150 feet away from the transformer. Get a little voltage check here at the very end, see where we're at. We're only at 10.5 volts. So we're still within, again, the acceptable range. Um, very, very good. We can add quite a few more uh, LED lights to the line um, and be in really, really good shape. This is our voltage drop chart using a number 14 gauge wire, typical for 12 volt landscape lighting installations using LED lighting fixtures.
We chose this gauge as it is easily found most anywhere and not as expensive as the larger gauges. It will also allow for longer runs than the number 16 or number 18 landscape wire. To use our chart, calculate the total wattage in your lighting system. Add up all the fixtures and their wattages. The total wattage of the transformer should exceed the total wattage by the project by about 10%, just to be sure. Then calculate the total wattage per wire run. Once you have this total, check the voltage drop chart or voltage drop calculator on our website and find the distance and length of your run. As an example, we have chosen the total wattage of 60 watts at a distance of 75 feet. You can see by the chart and the voltage drop calculator that the expected total voltage drop is only 10.71, well above the number required to operate the system. Voltages below 8 are not recommended as the LED light fixtures will flicker or they may not light at all. If you're using a multi-tap transformer, always make sure that the first light fixture on any run does not exceed 12.5 volts. This is our quick voltage chart, and we have a voltage drop calculator on our website. Just click on the link below in the text section. We have more information on voltage drop on our website, as well as the formulas that will get you close to what the actual voltage drop will be. Our little field lab experiment test finds that the formulas are close to accurate. However, a voltage meter in the field is always the best way to go. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.